Have you ever looked at a beautiful flower and been awed by life? Have you ever looked up at the stars in the night sky and trembled before the infinite spaces of the cosmos? Have you shed tears because you were deeply moved by the story of someone who practiced unconditional love? And have you ever asked, who am I? Why am I here? All these moments are our expressions of thirst for the Tao. They are also the moments we feel something after getting a glimpse of the Tao. In those moments, when you encounter that small part of the Tao, you get a burst of inspiration, your heart swells without any reason, and, occasionally, you have a great realization that becomes a turning point in your life. In those moments, you experience a vague feeling that a sacred design, not to be imitated by even the most superior human intellect, exists in the universe. Everyone has a desire to become one with the Tao. That is, everyone has a seeker's heart. The Tao is the background and motivating power of everything that exists in the world. It is also the world and everything in it. Our lives are part of the Tao, and therefore, we long for the Tao the way a fish longs for the ocean. This thirst for the Tao is a power that generation after generation has pushed many to search for the ultimate meaning of life. It is also the power that has moved great scientists, writers, and artists to immerse themselves in a lifetime of research and creative activity. Great scientists discover the laws and principles governing the world through objective numbers and formulas. Great poets sing of the world of the Tao through language. And great artists express inspiration concerning the Tao through images. Longing for the Tao does not come to us only in moments of joy and awe. The opposite is actually much more frequent. You have probably had times when, on the outside, everything seemed to be going well, but one day your heart suddenly felt empty and everything felt pointless. You might have awakened in the middle of the night and had trouble sleeping, because a slew of questions about life were suddenly racing through your mind. Whether or not our health, occupations, or personal relationships are satisfying, these questions lie under the surface of our busy, churning lives. Am I happy now? Do I have a direction or goal in my life? What in the world does all this mean? You never need to be afraid when such moments come to you. It is in those moments, when the roots of our lives are shaken, when we get the feeling that we have no direction, and when a sense of emptiness and futility washes over us, that the thirst for the Tao within us raises its head. The seed of the seeker's heart sprouts in the rich soil of those feelings of emptiness and futility. Perhaps you've said or thought, I have no interest in seeking truth. I simply want to live a life that's a little happier and fuller. But if you look deeply into your pursuit of a life that is more meaningful and better, you'll find that, ultimately, it too is a form of the seeker's heart. This is because, when seeking to create a genuinely happy and fulfilling life, material satisfaction alone cannot satisfy. You are someone who longs to know something greater and more fundamental to satisfy the thirst you feel in your daily superficial life. Otherwise, you would never have picked up this book. You can't really say exactly what it is, but you're searching for something meaningful. That thing you can't quite describe is the Tao. Your longing for it is the seeker's heart. This seeker's heart is very important in the course of becoming one with the Tao. This is because, although everyone has that seeker's heart, when you acknowledge hold precious, and develop that thirst for the Tao, your eyes open to see the Tao.